Welcome to what's new in UVM 1.2. Today we're going to talk about sequences. Specifically we're going to focus on the new feature where you're able to set a default sequence from the command line. Uh, so without further ado, let's go through this example. So on the right pane over here uh, we have two sequences. Sequence A and sequence B. They're basic sequence that extend the UVM sequence. Um, so another thing to note here is in the constructor we uh, use this new feature set automatic phase objection. This was covered in the um, video about objections but to summarize basically um, this feature injects objections automatically um, before the start. It uh, raises an objection before the start and finishes and drops the objection at the end of the sequence. So that way um, you don't have to explicitly raise and drop objections like you had to do in, uh, in the previous version of UVM. So that's this. Uh, this is set for both of these sequences, and the body is quite simple. Um, this sequence A basically runs for 10 microseconds, and it prints out uh, a message every microsecond. Sequence B runs for five microseconds and prints out a message. Uh, so how do we decide which of these ones to run? Well, over here on the left side, we have a sequencer, just a basic sequence, sir, and then we have a UVM test. And the UVM test basically uh, starts the sequence, and it does this by using a config DB where it, um, it sets sequence B as the default sequence. So this is, you know, a typical way that you would do this in UVM 1.1 ID. I'm going to go ahead and run this right now, and we'll see what the results are. Okay, so it's running, and we expect that the sequence B will run. And as expected, sequence B ran as, as expected. Uh, well, the new feature in UVM 1.2 is that you can set the default sequence from the command line. So let's go ahead and comment this out. And now we're going to go ahead and set the sequence on the command line. We're going to use this UVM set default sequence switch. And we're just going to put a star here for the sequencer, uh, main phase. And this time we're going to pick sequence A. So just specify the type on the command line. So this is equivalent to uh, what was being done here earlier here. But this time you can do it from the command line. So let's run this. And now we expect that seek A will be running. OK, code is running. And as expected, sequence A ran. So another thing to notice is um, is in sequence A and sequence B we printed out the state name get sequence state name. So as you can see, this is UVM body. This is not uh, a big feature, but basically um, in UVM 1.2, this UVM underscore is now prefix to the sequence state. Uh, so it's for the sequence state and also for the uh, the UVM sequencer arg mode has been updated. So this is a, a slight uh, slight change that you may notice. Okay, so this basically covers uh, everything about sequences that we wanted to cover today. Um, let's go ahead and show how this would run in UVM 1.1D just uh, for interest sake. So in 1.1D uh, we don't have this automatic phase objection and uh, instead we're gonna start uh, st raise and drop objections over here and uh, since I modified sequence A let's change this to seek A okay and this should run in 1.1D so let's switch to 1.1D and give it a shot I hope this works alright sequence A uh, as you can see the state is body previously it was UVM body so that's how you would run it in 1.1D